Hey there fellow readers, Mrs. Weidman here, and today we're going to be talking about the young adult novel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, by the one and only Suzanne Collins, the author of the Hunger Games trilogy. So this book takes place about 60 years before Katniss Everdeen enters the 74th annual Hunger Games, right? And in this particular book, we follow a young Coriolanus Snow, who is living in the capital, and unfortunately his family, which was once prestigious and awesome and awe-inspiring, right? Um, has fallen on hard times, right? And that's largely because of the war where the districts rose up, they fought against the capital, and it only ended because the capital dropped a nuclear bomb on District 13 and pretty much obliterated them from the map, right? So Coriolanus, to this day, says the war is the worst thing that ever happened to him, right? He saw people at their absolute worst. He never wants this to happen again. And he doesn't want the capital to lose control and lose the power that they have over the districts because that's when terrible things like cannibalism and starvation and death happen to the people of the capital, right? So Coriolanus, who is at school, right, and kind of trying to hide the hard times his family has fallen upon, right, hears about this new opportunity, right? And at the end of this opportunity, if he's successful, he'll be given a scholarship to the university where he can, of course, keep rising in the ranks of prestige, which is all Snow wants, right? That's all he ever wants. So in this book, the opportunity is for the university students to become mentors to the district tributes that are selected for the Hunger Games. And Coriolanus is like, well, that's great. My family name is going to give me the best tribute that there is, and I will be a sure for the scholarship because that's what Snow deserves. Well, the day of the reaping arrives, right, and Snow discovers, number one, not only did he get a kid from District 12, which everybody knows District 12 is like the lame district, right? Those kids die all the time, and they never have winners, right? But he also got assigned the girl, and Snow is like, pfft. This is so insulting. Are you kidding me? The girl from District 12, she's going to die right away. Well, then they like go to the shot of the reaping and Lucy Graybard, who's amazing, right? Gets her name called in the reaping. So she's walking up. She rips a snake out of her dress pocket and puts it down the, <laughs> puts it down the dress of another girl. And everyone's like, yeah, this girl's got spunk. And then she starts singing a song as people are trying to like figure out the snake situation. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, we love her. And Snow's like, ooh, this girl's got star power. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. And then, of course, when she gets to the capital, he meets her in person. And Snow's like, ooh, maybe there's something more here. But I kind of really like this girl. She's awesome. But, of course, at the end of the story, we know, right, Lucy has to go into the arena and fight 23 other kids to the death. So it doesn't matter if she and Snow are crushing on each other. It doesn't matter, right, if she's not going to be able to walk away as the winner because then Snow doesn't get what he wants, and of course, Lucy will be dead. So if you want an interesting backstory into just what makes Coriolanus Snow the evil, awful person that he is in the Hunger Games trilogy, then The Ballad of Songbirds and Snake is a next great read for you. See you all online soon.